Many years ago, one of the only ways that you could apply pesticides was with a sprayer. There really were not very many options for applying pesticides. And you might see a truck come by like this that has tanks on the inside and a high pressure nozzle on it that can be used to spray very tall trees or far back into the landscape. While these still have their use in terms of spraying very, very tall trees that a homeowner might not be able to spray, there are so many more options now for applying pesticides to protect your trees. There are multiple different ways that you can control pests in the landscape, even on very tall trees. Now we can spray them as most people are familiar with, really large high pressure hydraulic sprayers, just your typical hand sprayer for a homeowner. Um, but there are some really neat ways that we're able to apply pesticides now that can help reduce the impacts on non-target species. One particular example that's become very popular in the last few years is tree injection. Essentially, the concept of tree injection is that you're directly putting a small amount of pesticide into the vascular tissue of the tree, where it's then translocated up to the leaves. The pest feeds on those leaves or stems and is killed in that way. So how this process works, essentially one of the ways, is you can take a just a standard drill and drill bit, drill a hole of a specified size into the tree, and you put a little plug just like this inside there. And this plug essentially prevents the liquid from backing out of the tree. And it goes in just far enough so that the cambial tissue takes up the liquid that you inject. So you can see here, we've already put in one of these uh, plugs. And I'm gonna show to you some of the devices that can be used to inject the liquid. You certainly always wanna wear your PPE, but particularly when you're mixing pesticides or you're working with more concentrated products. Your hands and your forearms are the most likely places where you're likely to be exposed to pesticides and have it absorbed through your skin. So here we have one particular system. Essentially you have a syringe with a tube coming off of it filled with a concentrated pesticide. At one end is sort of a hypodermic needle like you might find in a hospital. With this type of system, essentially, you, when you press on the trigger, you can see the liquid comes right out like that. When you get ready to treat, you, after your plug is in, you simply put your syringe there, hold on, press the button, and it goes right up into the tree. Just takes a few minutes. Now there's many different systems and ways to do injection. Some use large volumes of liquid and some use smaller volumes like this one. There's different kinds of guns as well as different kinds of containers and plugs to put into the tree. So with that choice, with all of those choices, you really have a lot of options when it comes to controlling pests in the landscape. So another alternative to spraying in order to protect your trees from insect pests is to do something that's called a soil drench. This does not involve drilling into the tree as does the uh, infusion type process. It actually involves kind of moving away soil from the base of the tree where the vast majority of the roots are. You take a measurement of your tree to determine how much liquid that you need. And then it's just a matter of pouring the liquid around the tree and it gets taken up through the roots and translocated throughout the tree in the vascular system. And it actually is a fairly quick process. It does not require a lot of specialized equipment and can be used with a number of different products. Once we have measured our tree and determined how much liquid and pesticide concentrate we need and pulled away some of the mulch so that we can see right around the base of the tree really not that far out because a lot of the feeder roots are the small roots that will take this product up into the tree are actually right next to it. So once you've done that, it's just a simple matter of just applying the product evenly around the tree and letting it soak in.
So another factor when controlling a pest after you've identified it is knowing the timing of when to apply your treatment. Now, the, the insect that caused damage on this particular tree was the fall canker worm. And when it was causing damage was far earlier in the spring. So to apply pesticides now would not do us any good and might actually do harm by killing off beneficial insects that might keep the populations in check. So knowing when to treat is also very critical to get good control.